Okay, this is People, Places, Things, and in History. I have a brand new one, and I'm starting something new. You want to write a comment? Let me know what you want to hear. This is Carol Church Gardner. I'll name your name at the end. Maybe you're the lucky winner of the week. And yes, and there's also, you might find comical things and slip-ups, so good luck finding them. Maybe a blooper or two. Let me know. Make a comment. Make fun of it. Go for it. The first one is Wanted, Dead or Alive, believe it or not, $10,000. It is Bigfoot. Of all people, Bigfoot, yes, Bigfoot is also Wanted, Dead or Alive. So here's the challenge, guys. It's also named a Sasquatch. Sasquatch, back in the day, he would take babies from Native American women and he would eat them. So in some tribes... He's seen as an eater. Some tribes, he's a shapeshifter. Yes, a shapeshifter. He will shift in shape and do whatever he can, twist and dance, maybe for you in the woods. And he would end up being, what else? Disappear. Back in the 70s, a bunch of five or ten or five people went for a ride, got broke down. When they did, they were in the woods. Their friend went to couple of friends went to go get help. The rest of them stayed there. They actually said they seen one and a UFO had went come down before this. Here is a few names. Here's a couple of places. I'll name them and what they Bigfoot is seven to nine feet tall is the adults. The babies will be smaller guys. We have to look for the babies too. And they're hairy and they stand up like we do but they don't look like us. They're hairy and they got big feet and they have no clothes on. Remember, no clothes because they got hair. And their feet just look like our feet. That's how you can tell it's Bigfoot. So, like Bigfoot going through the woods. Another one is Momo. That's from Missouri to Mississippi River. Skunkum is Pacific Northwest. Mo, Momo already said what they are and what they not, what you think of. The first one is Skunk Ape. Skunk Ape actually is a swamp monster too. The reason why he's called this, it's down in Florida. He lives in the swamps. He smells really bad. And that's why he's called Skunk Ape. So maybe you'll see him, maybe you won't. Let me know in the comments below if you believe in Bigfoot. Big a thumbs up, man. Here we go. And another twist and turn of it is Grassman. Grassman is known in Ohio. Yes, Ohio has Grassman. And here's another name for Bigfoot, the elusive guy. It's Lucum is from Arkansas, of all places. Yowie is from Australia. And they also have a lot of carvings of him where he was from long ago. And then there's also Wild Man is what they call him in Europe. Wild Man actually went in, killed a whole bunch of kids that was on a camping trip for the school, and he went and he tore their tongues out. Over there, they tear their tongues out, and they tear animals' tongues out, but they leave the carcass. Ben is from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Awesome is Mongolian for the Bigfoot. Yeti, they live in Asia in the Tibetan hills and are known as having white coats and people are terrified of them because they're the party well the giants of the giants. We'll end up saying one more. Give me a minute. The Mulligans are another one that come from Arizona. That's what their Bigfoot is called. We'll have to see. These are all over. There's a lot of names, but they describe the same creature, and they have the same sculptures. Orang Pack. They're off of an island. They're only 30 inches to 60 inches tall. They live in a forest. You'll see them maybe with a little darker color on their back and a little lighter color. They're on an island, but they're the pygmy type of Bigfoot. Yarn is a Chinese word for Bigfoot. Yes, so he's seen all over the world. Why can't we just get a picture of you? 
And Jersey has the New Jersey Devil. Here's a picture of the New Jersey Devil. Yes, we have a New Jersey Devil. Mrs. Leagues had a kid. She had 13 kids all together. 13th kid she cursed. When she cursed him, he when he come out, he was like part animal, part nothing, but no human sight at all. <clears throat> it's because she had actually cursed this little kid when she had him. He flew up the chimney when they, he just was, the midwife was trying to clean him off. He was normal. Ever since to that day, in the 1700s or 1800s, they have seen the New Jersey Devil sightings. And he lives in the Pine Barrens of the south of the southern part of New Jersey, down below. And I live at the top, so I don't have to worry about him. There's actually four, actually, sea monsters. One is Nessie. Nessie lives in a Loch Ness Monster. Yes, she's a Loch Ness Monster. She's a plesiosaur. And she's not the only one that's contending for this title. There is actually three more. Here's the first next contender would be Bing Bing Chip. Chip is the next one. She lives in Lake Champlain. She's as tall as yes. What did they ever say? She actually comes out of the water once in a while. She's the only one that is high as a light pole. Yes, a light pole. She can come out of that water like mad. Guys, try not to use your fishing pole. I think these two will snap the pole in half. Now, we have another one coming to you, and this is what it is. In Skullhall Lake in Canada, there is Ogopogo. Ogopogo doesn't look like her counterparts. It's more like an eel or more like a snake. She, This is one of the ones that they recently seen. If you go on YouTube, you'll see where a guy was, you know, out on the water and they seen this preacher. So, you tell me if you think it's real or not in the comments below. My Kyle Bembe is one that lives in Africa in the deep Congos. They actually think he's a plesiosaurus, but I'm not sure if I got this correct. But you can check on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of things on him. Um, he actually kills people. He kills the animals, but he doesn't touch the body. Would you go swimming in that water? I don't think so. Another one is the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird is actually known in Native American myths, and I found out the other day in Africa. Yes, there are two. The one over here actually is the Thunderbird. And what he does is when he goes through, they say his gigantic uh, wings do the thunder, and there's lightning bolts that comes out of, like, his feathers and his talons and wherever. And actually, the one in Africa, it actually has the same thing, but it's actually created by a witch doctor. Their name for this creature is... And Pudgeloo over there means witchcraft, so that might be what they're calling it. I can't really tell. And also, I found out they can transform into a woman or a man. That's their Thunderbird. Our Thunderbird is big and scary, what I would hear out of different tribes, because I am a tribesman. Um, so... Thanks to Eileen Reese. The one thing I forgot to say about Bigfoot, Teddy Roosevelt, yes, when he went camping out in the woods, yes, they heard Bigfoot. His guy told him it was Bigfoot. He was a Native American. And before I forget it, where's Nessie at? In Scotland. So thank you to Eileen Reese. Here's your video. I hope you enjoy this one because this one's a big one for you. I found all your cryptids, and I'm glad I did. So, Eileen, I'm really glad. So, I hope you're happy. Oh, you got your history lesson, you got your things, and you got your people, and you got your places. Good going. Thanks. Thanks, Eileen. See ya. This is Carol Church Gardner coming to you. I did this a little bit. Hit a like. Hit a subscribe. Hit down below, hit like, share, and subscribe, and make a comment. 
I love to hear your comments. Thank you, Connie Stacklin, for liking the plot twist and telling me you want to see two. Eileen Resus, this one was for you, and I make sure both of your names is at the end of this video. From now on, if you hit subscribe, like, and videos, and share, and you write a comment down, I'll make sure your whole information of your name is on the end of each one or somewhere in the video. You have to watch the whole video, guys, because I'm not telling you exactly right where they are. Carol Church signing off. See ya.